Mike, did you watch the incredible interview segment with Kenny Omega and Don Callis and that stooge Josh Matthews on Impact last night? Don't even tell me no. Depending on who you are, there were three stooges sitting there on that bus. Oh about my things. With god! A picture of two stooges right behind on uh, on their shoulder there, but uh, yeah, I, I saw the that interview and I saw the paid advertisement that Tony Khan and Tony Schiavone had. So I did see that. I didn't see the rest of Impact, but I did see those two segments. So the segment was so great. They're all on a bus. Josh Matthews is there. Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega normally shows up to, to AEW either in his gear or in his pajamas. But now he's got some sort of wacky designer jeans. He wore a semi-nice shirt. He wears his aviators the whole time. And he's got, like, some bracelets on. And he's celebrating about all his bling that he's wearing. He's the greatest. Don Callis, absolutely fantastic. I got so many emails last night, as, as Dave was talking about on the show a little while ago. Don Callis grew up a big fan of, of Bobby Heenan and Nick, and Nick Bockwinkle. And I had so many people that sent me texts and emails last night. Oh, my God. If you remember Bobby Heenan and Nick Bockwinkle, they said, you got to watch this segment. Callis is the best. They're just burying impact. Kenny Omega is so cocky. He's such a great heel. Apparently, the idea is Kenny Omega may, in fact, become the belt collector. Because he's got the AEW title. They acknowledge that he's got the uh, AAA Super Mega Heavyweight title, which he better not lose, by the way, if he actually goes down to Triple Mania. And then Don Callis is talking about, we've got a lot of great champions here on this show. So I think maybe, I may be reading too much into it, but that appears to be at least one of the ideas. So they do their whole 10-minute shtick. It's great. And then they promise that Kenny will be coming to Dynamite to make a big announcement. Why would he make a big announcement on this Impact show, even though they gave 10 minutes of their time to Impact? I just thought the whole thing was fantastic. And on top of that, they had the paid advertisement with Tony Khan and Tony Schiavone. Tony Khan, I I mean, I don't think he's going to be a character on Dynamite, but clearly the idea is... He's the babyface owner of Dynamite. But like Vince McMahon in Memphis, he goes to this this low-level impact show, and he's a total heel. I could have stopped Kenny, he said. Maybe I'll even buy this company. Ask Tony, you ever work for Impact? Tony says, ha! Ah, once 18 years ago, then I quit the business. It's awesome. I loved it. It is the best storyline going, and I cannot wait to see where it goes on the show tonight. Anything you'd like to add? You've 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 sat back there. Mm-hmm. Well, the, oh, let me guess. You didn't like it. I didn't say that. I didn't say that at all. I, I do. I I'm not reveling in it like you are. It's the best storyline on earth. But I'll say name this, a better Don, one. <laughs> Lana. Sure. Yes. Go, go Lana. There you go. Um, Nothing better. Okay. Uh, Don Callis is great. I mean, that's number one first and foremost. He adds a lot and. Here's what is true. Kenny Omega is not anywhere near the promo, nor will he ever be that Nick Bockwinkle was. But talent-wise, for what he does in the ring, this combination as an updated version of a Bockwinkle and and I can see where they're I can see where they're going with that. And Cyrus or Cyrus <laughs> Don Callis as Bobby Heenan, I think is great. Don Callis as Kenny's mouthpiece as he just sits back there arrogant and cocky and smug. It's perfect. I mean, it is really a great combination. I don't know if this helps impact. I don't know how much I want to see Tony Khan do paid advertisements. Tony Khan needs a, a Sandy Scott. No, there needs to be somebody on that show so we don't have so much Tony, and I don't want to see him be the focal point of anything. I don't even want to see him on the screen. I get why he is, but I would love to see somebody else kind of take that heat for him. But I, I don't know if this is really going to help impact. I, I heard the numbers were ridiculous. They were like 10 times. 10 what they to 20 do. times what they normally do, and that's on Twitch. Yeah, 
So, you know, there were people that tuned in the whole time that didn't just cherry pick and see the interviews like I did. So we'll see if this pays off as, as things go on and we'll see how much impact uh, a the AEW makes on that show. Uh, no pun intended over the next couple of weeks here. So we'll have to see how everything kind of plays out here. But uh, I, I guess it's the best storyline on Earth right now. Dude, listen, if you guys disagree with me, tell me a better storyline in wrestling right now. I mean... Kenny Omega, yeah, he's no Nick Bockwinkle, but you know what? Name a better promo that Kenny Omega has cut in the United States since the beginning of AEW. Like, if there's one, feel free to tell me. If there's a better storyline going today, feel f- I like the Roman Reigns and Jey Uso stuff, but I talked about it on the Filthy Show. Like, we just keep going in circles with this storyline. What's going on here with Roman? Is he? I mean, it's all about Roman and Jey, but Jey's not the guy he's facing on the pay-per-view. He's supposed to face Kevin Owens. Back in a moment. The Twitch. You heard me, Mike. Your Christ. If you love these video clips, head down there to the bottom right-hand side of the screen and click Join. For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes. Over 300 at current count. Full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Landstorm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.